One thing that is evolving is a difference in the NEXRAD product as it's displayed by different systems. It was inevitable that some pilots would start flying with more than one downlink receiver system, and these pilots report that the NEXRAD picture is often somewhat different with the two systems. That has to do with how any given precipitation rate is depicted. Typically, airborne weather radar has shown precip in three or four colors. Green, yellow, and red were the standard on color radar for years, with magenta added later to show the heaviest precipitation. The nationwide weather radar system actually measures 17 levels of precipitation, described as reflectivity. XM Weather broadcasts all levels, but some of our NEXRAD receivers show only the basics, where some show most or all the 17 levels. This has to do with the capability of our onboard computer, and eventually all new receivers will show most or all the levels. Anyway, today one system might show heavy clouds as green where the other does not. One might show light rain as the second level of precip. Any system is going to show heavy rain as bad stuff. Does all this devalue the product? Not really. As a pilot, you just have to learn to interpret what you're looking at. And if the gradient is steep, leading to a level of heavy precipitation, that's always bad news. Also, lightning in there counts for a lot. Remember, though, that the downlink weather data shows only cloud-to-ground lightning. In other words, by the time it shows lightning, conditions are pretty bad. A lot of cautious interpretation is required with any weather information system, and there are a growing number of thunderstorm-related accidents involving airplanes with NEXRAD on board. Certainly, having the equipment does not enable flight in weather that couldn't be handled without it. It's information to use in avoidance of areas of inclement weather.